Hi, I'm Tim Robel, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today we're on Porcupine Rim Trail, Moab, Utah, for the 2019 Rally on the Rocks. And we got a break up ahead, got a wildcat that's got a broken uh, tie rod. So we're working on trying to get him off the trail and out of the way and go run into town and get parts. And I'll just take this uh, little break just to talk about uh, the car and how it's doing. First of all, let's talk about these uh, Maxxis tires. I'm running the 35 Rockzillas. Almost crashed there. And these things are clawing up the way really, really well. Um, they remind me of uh, the Baja Claw from Minky Thompson from years ago. I used to run those on a few of my crawlers back in the day uh, in a backward direction. And uh, they hooked up and worked really well. But these tires are doing so good on this stuff. And it's just walking. It's just a, really a walk in the park. So far, the car has been holding up well. Um, I used a cross thread across the bolts and it's a, basically a painted stripe so it's really nice when I stop I can just take a quick visual of the car and make sure that nothing has worked itself loose and uh, so far that gives me a nice uh, peace of mind to know that everything is uh, working out really really well got the roto packs installed for my bar 10 ranch another uh, three gallons of fuel I think that's going to be an important one um, I have to say this Moab trip has been uh, spectacular. If you haven't done Rally on the Rocks before, uh, this is my first time, second time back to Moab. Um, but I signed up for a lot of really neat trails and uh, so far it's been great. Uh, we did Picture Frame Arch yesterday. If you're watching the video series, you'll see the video on that. Um, that was a good trail. Um, today is... Um, that trail, I'll go back to that, was more between high range and low range. I never was in the right um, setting. Um, we ran about 18 miles an hour. I like to be in high range around 20. So uh, everything was um, kind of like iffy on that. Here, we've been running low range for most of the day, and it's just been spectacular. Uh, we're almost to our lunch stop, and we have this Wildcat Sport up here that... Uh, broke a, uh, a tie rod we're gonna try to back that off the trail and go from there um, I'm running the Razorback belt temp gauge on the car and um, I'm seeing belt temps uh, in the 120s 130s all the way up to 150 uh, when we're down low crawling uh, one two mile an hour I'm jumping up 140 150 uh, but down low um, I'm staying, um, you know, up like 10 miles an hour in low range. I'm staying at 130, 132 almost all of the day. Uh, the Magellan Tracks GPS is working out good. All of these trails have, are marked, and I'm laying down breadcrumbs uh, when we're running them. Um, I did install the new Rugged Radios 696, which is the Bluetooth uh, cell phone, uh, so you can play uh, music through it. And I felt I did a pretty cool, clean install on that. All the, the lines, the cabling is, is down in here. So you just pull that out, tuck it down when you're not using it. I got a passenger today and don't have headsets yet. I just have the uh, the helmet. So uh, we're just, uh, it's quiet enough in here that we can just have a nice, nice chat. But uh, if you're new and haven't been to uh, Moab yet, um, I have to say it's a must go. Uh, temperatures have been, uh, yesterday hit 91 with a low of 56, so great sw uh, sleeping weather. But the views here are just spectacular. I have to say that uh, for me, this is like the most incredible place that I've been um, for motorcycles, bicycles, and side-by-sides. I mean, the town is just full of, of uh, high energy, cool people. Um, I do wish that um, the mountain bikes and the motorcycles and the side-by-sides and the Jeep guys all meshed and got along. I wave at everybody. It seems like there's not that uh, respect. Uh, there's been some turned up noses from the mountain bike guys to the side-by-sides. And I understand that coming from uh, being on a, uh, a bicycle, you know, but I wave to everyone. Um, some people that are un, uh, irresponsible for uh, being on the trails and, and just trying to go too fast and put other people in danger. So uh, things to think about if you're a side-by-side -side guy. 
But uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff right here that we've uh, crawled through. And once again, the car is working good. So that's gonna be it for now. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of your views. If you haven't uh, liked and subscribed yet, uh, please do. I got a lot more videos coming out with the Adventure Athlete series. I will be on the road now for another, I think, uh, 18 days. So we got some epic stuff coming still. Um, not all car related. Uh, I'm gonna go do Angels Landing in uh, Zion National Park, and I'm gonna hit uh, Bryce. Canyon lands and arches. So I'll be doing some filming uh, daily there too. So that's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Robel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you here next time.